Have you ever been playing a game or just using your phone when it suddenly ran out of power? Well, look no further because in today's episode, we're going to show you a cheap way to end your anguish. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get one of these car USB chargers. These are going to be excellent to use because they run on DC. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and open it up. There we go, that's the inside. As you can see on the chip, there's a little plus sign right here. So that tells us the positive is going to be here. The only other contact points was this, so that means the negative is going to be attached to the body of the USB. At least that's for this case. Your case could be different. So make sure that you do it specifically for what your charger has. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and desolder this tab right here so I can solder a new wire to it. So now that we have that tab soldered off right there, we're going to go ahead and carefully solder a red wire right to there. There we go. So now that I have that red wire soldered onto there, I'm going to go ahead and solder a negative wire, which will be brown in my case, to the case of the USB drive. Now let's go ahead and take one of these. You can buy these, however, I just ripped this off of a 9 volt battery, and it's going to be good to use as a 9 volt battery terminal. Now we're going to go ahead and solder the wires from this onto this. Remember when we solder, however, that a 9-volt battery fits in like this, meaning the side that's normally negative is going to become positive, and the side that's normally positive is going to become negative. Okay, let's go ahead and clip this onto here, and let's put a pad of solder on each of these terminals. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and solder this red wire to this one. Now let's go ahead and solder the brown wire over here to the other side. Now if you would like, you can install a switch between the 9 volt battery spot and the USB terminal. And that would be nice to turn off and on, but I'm going for a very simple charger here. Now I'm going to take some electrical tape, and I'm going to coil this wire around the device, leaving a little bit extra, just like this. Now that you have the wire coiled, go ahead and take the electrical tape and start wrapping it around it all. Now I'm going to take some electrical tape and secure this to the back end right here. And now that we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap some more electrical tape around this to make it look a little bit nicer. And there we go. All right, let's go ahead and grab a phone now, and let's plug this end into here, and let's plug the other end into this one. And now let's go ahead and connect up the 9-volt battery and see if it turns on. There we go. Look at that. As you can see, we have the green charging symbol on the phone, so we know that it's working properly. Now you know how to make your very own USB portable charger powered by a 9-volt battery. You're watching Keystone Science, and in today's episode, we're going to show you how to make an easy high voltage power supply.